for calling Tesla. Please press 9 if you know your party's extension. For address information, press 1. For service, press 2. For sale. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the BMW. Yeah, we're, uh, we're rocking the BMW right now. Welcome back to the BMW X3. So yes, my Tesla is in fact in the shop. Um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Mine hasn't been bad except for the fact that my Tesla broke yesterday. It was towed Sunday evening to the Tesla service center. Obviously they weren't open yesterday. Today they were open, but Enterprise Rent-A-Car was not, so I am without a car right now, AKA why I am driving the BMW. Uh, well, so yes, I am borrowing somebody else's car. I'm not fully carless, but kind of carless. Uh, but yeah, the, the Tesla, Tesla is broken. So this morning I gave Tesla a call when I got up uh, around like 8.30 just to make sure they obviously received the, the car key and all that. There was a little drop box outside. Uh, so I gave them a call. I'll just play it here because I recorded that this morning. So this is how that conversation went. To schedule a service appointment, press one. For information on your car in for service or parts inquiry, press two. If you are happy, please hold while I transfer your call to the service center. Hi, um, I had my car towed and dropped off at Tesla yesterday evening. Um, Tesla? Yes. So yesterday I was getting four uh, error messages and the car would not go into uh, like park reverse, neutral drive. It wouldn't move out of anything. I could get it into tow mode with jumping the car. Mm -hmm. um, but when I called uh, Tesla Roadside Assistance, uh, all the screens were black and wouldn't turn on, and uh, I couldn't I couldn't move the car at all, so I had to get it towed. Um, and I'm not sure what was okay. wrong. I have an image of the error messages that were popping up. Okay, there were also two other things that I wanted to have looked at while the car was in. So later on today, around like 2.30, I received a text message saying, hi, uh, it's someone from Tesla Service Center. Uh, your car has a bad rear drive unit. So obviously my car is rear wheel drive. So I only have one drive unit in my car. So that drive unit apparently went bad. Now, interestingly enough, well, not interestingly enough, but uh, the drive unit and battery are under full warranty for eight years unlimited miles so even if I was out of my hundred thousand mile two-year warranty whichever comes first that warranty even if I was out of that CPO warranty that came with the car this would still be covered so that is good to know either way it happened before my two-year hundred thousand mile warranty was up so they are taking care of that they sent me a text message saying that that is the issue and that I should expect the car to be done by tomorrow evening Tuesday Tuesday evening so I'm pretty hopeful that it will be done, but you never know. It is kind of peculiar. I wouldn't expect them to have like a rear drive unit for 2014, unless like the newer drive unit could fit in those cars because my car is five years old. It's a rear wheel drive model, and I would assume that they've made some iterations on the drive unit since then. But either way, I am I'm pretty excited. I mean, I really hope it's gonna be ready tomorrow night. That would be great. Um, I, I want my Tesla back. I, I miss my Tesla. It's, it's so much more fun to drive. So really hoping that it's ready. That would be a really quick turnaround. I guess two days. They could work on it today. They could work on it tomorrow. And then hopefully I'll have it back. Now I also mentioned that there are bubbles on my screen. Uh, those have only gotten bigger since the beginning of the year when I uh, took my car in to get the charge port replaced because there were some miscolored LEDs. So they replaced that. And now at this point, their screen, the, the bubbles at the top of my screen have gotten bigger and bigger. I've read that other people have had it replaced under warranty, so if they don't do it, I, I don't know. It's gonna be a little annoying. I might have to go back, make sure that gets replaced while it's still under warranty. And uh, the one other thing is the sunroof. The, uh, there's a lot of wind noise coming in from above like the passenger side, so I was hoping they could take a look at that. I'm thinking it's just like a seal. Uh, I don't know if they have to add like another layer or just something to fill in the gap more maybe so there's less wind noise I'm not sure if it's like a simple thing that they can do or not. So I asked them to take a look at it. We'll see what happens Either way, uh, I might just roll this into a vlog on Tesla talk Tuesday tomorrow I'm not sure if we'll do news or just an update on my Tesla because well, we can talk about Tesla because mine's broken So yeah, it's not ideal, but it's it's just it's life. So either way they're covering it right now It's at the shop. I'm without a car 
I'll either get a rental tomorrow if my car is still not ready, or hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to pick my car up tomorrow night. But more to come, and um, I guess if that's it for today, and I just do a separate vlog tomorrow, please like and subscribe if you guys enjoy the content. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys.